Well, hello everyone, I am Fracture and this is Let's Play Two Worlds 2 on the PC. We're just kind of working our way through actually quite a major backlog of quests. As you can see from the map, there's lots of stuff to be done and oh, that's a surprise. Oh no, no it's not a surprise, it's forgetfulness. I forgot we skipped that quest. That was the one that appeared to be timing guards and it didn't interest me. But as you can see, they're certainly piling up on this island. So this is close by, the candidate. And so is this, magic, the gardening. <laughs> Somebody's got a sense of humor. And then Mr. Toe here. And we've got some other stuff. This is actually a really interesting place to be entering into because it's all new mobs. But let's... I'm curious now. Let's head south and take a look at this. See what that is. Uh, Sorry. No, completely turned around. Completely, yes, completely turned around. Okay. Over here, is it? No, I'm heading west. Why do I want to head west? I want to head south. What the heck? Why am I so confused? That's what I want. Does this head outside? Oh shit, no. There's gotta be a way out. Well, we'll do what we always do, we'll go out this way. It's probably a long walk. Yeah, but it's as good as any. It looks like I can follow the river along and then head east. Uh, east being, of course, west. Now, let's go to that. So I think that's to the Beaver Bridge and then south. And this panther just keeps coming back. Let's get this over with. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Put your bow away. I hate to bug ya. <laughs> several of them. for hmm. nice time of day for this it's the beach rather rocky Oh. Ugh. Yeah. Somewhere along here, though, is the real purpose for our trip. And we were doing some gardening. Kill the insects infesting the mountain breed patch. So, uh, it's up there somewhere. How do we get up there? Hmm. Oh no, completely missed it. How did we miss it? 
Right, back. Oh, Verso. But looking at the map, it doesn't look like it's hard to get up there. Hello. Okay, I might be sidetracked here, but this could be interesting. Let's take a peek. Cold, dark. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know, I'm an idiot. Okay, hang on. There we go. I'll switch to my other arrows in a second. Care of that guy. I imagine this hey. is one of these places just filled with these. Hello. I know you're what? Oh, it's multiple <laughs> level. Oh, oh, hello. I don't like the sound of whatever that was. Stay down. Warned you. Wonder if these things make use of their shields. Stay down. My guess is no. <laughs> it's probably just treated as a modifier. I. Uh, <laughs> okay. For a dread knight, you're not so dread. Stay down. All right, all right, all right. I'll come back to that. Anything of interest? This is just the sort. No. I was thinking maybe. They, hello. This is more complicated. Wow. Let's take a look at the map. Easy to miss a spot. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. Let's see what we find. <laughs> Good. sort of sacrificial Can I help you? Warned you. Turn undead or anything exciting. All right. What's that? Just a jar or something on the ground. All right. Yeah, clearly doing some alchemy in this area. Seems to be more than a kill. Oh, you're not. Happy. Time to change arrows. I probably didn't need to now. I got my multi arrow back. But he's resistant to one arrows. So we've 
come all the way around. good you get, you always end up in a place like this. Stay down. Bit of a spiral staircase. And hopefully not a locked door. Those look undead. No, they're necri. Yeah, I know I'm on piercing arrows right now. He's seems to be doing fine though. <laughs> okay, change my mind. I meant to look, before I started recording this video, I meant to look at the keyboard setup to see if there was a quick way to switch arrows, and I forgot. Because I'm betting there is. I bet I can set up two different sort of um, setups and just switch between them with a key. Okay, well that was certainly worth the trip. That was an interesting place. Stuff like this, though, I always want to learn a little bit of the history, like have it find a plaque on the wall. I, I, I can understand why games don't do it, because it's a heck of a lot of effort, and unless you get really good writers, it just ends up sounding like crap anyway, and not a lot of people bother reading it. So it's a lot of effort for probably very little to no payback. But like that book on time, it's always nice when you find a little gem where somebody's taken the effort to put something like that together and put some thought into it. Ah, we're not done. I thought we were done. Don't say I didn't warn you. That was, that was dumb. I think I'll wait here. For my multi arrow to come back. I bet you're glad you made ah, me. Ah, excellent. Here, boy. Warned you. Wow, I don't know what place we found, but it's one impressive place for just like a cave. Now, I'd love something like that in my backyard. I think the neighbors would get a little pissed, but it depends on the neighbors. But wouldn't that be cool? Instead of a back deck, just have that freaking thing sitting back there. I'd even probably take the time to go and put the candles out there just to piss off all the churches in town. Maybe put a big pentagram around it or something. But uh, yeah, that's very, very cool. Maybe it's just me. Well, let's head back out of the cave and we'll call this a video. Didn't really accomplish anything specific. But a fun little exploratory and pray you never hear your uh, doctor tell you you're in for a fun little exploratory. So with that, I thank you for watching and I thank you for listening. I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions or infantile abuse. I promise I read it all. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe or give me the thumbs up and we will level up first thing in the next video. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.